This is an iPod. This is not. This is the Sony NW-E55. The E-series of Walkmans from Sony were marketed as ultra compact and light, which is very clear here. It weighs only 55 grams and it is absolutely tiny in comparison to the iPod Classic. Hell, it is smaller than the display even. The front has a single line, two color uh, backlit LCD, which displays track information and things like repeat mode, shuffle and sound presets. The latter two can be controlled by the button on the top right. There is also a button to access the settings and one to access groups. I will get to that one later. The bottom has the hold switch and the volume controls. The left side, the battery compartment, which houses a single AAA battery, which should give approximately 70 hours of runtime. And it also has the mini USB connector. And on the right side, you have the lanyard hook and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. In this corner, you have this weird thing. That's a shuttle button, or so they call it. And there's the play pause as well. This specific model launched in July of 2004 and preceded the iPod Nano and Shuffle by about a year. It has 128 megabytes of storage, whereas the E75, which is the slightly higher end model than this one, offered 256 megabytes of storage. That's not a lot, and back in the day that wasn't either with the massive 20 gigs the iPod 4th gen offered. However, from my understanding, these network Walkmans, as they were called by Sony, were meant for storing some music for a bit of time and once you were done with listening to those you would just connect it to your computer and put different stuff on it. The suggested retail price was 199 euros for this the 128 model and 299 for the 256 model. At launch however those dropped towards 129 and 169 euros respectively in December of 2004 when the 512 megabyte and 1 gigabyte models launched. These players use the 8th track 3 standard for music, which you would put on using the Sonic Stage software. Later on, another application shipped which you would put on the device itself. However, in my experience that was rather unintuitive. Sonic Stage is really easy to use, but you do need to set the quality manually as it defaults to Gravel, aka 65 kilobits per second. Furthermore, Windows 10 does not automatically install the driver anymore, so you have to go into the device manager and manually select a driver called Sony Network Walkman. Sony advertised that up to 5 albums could be stored on the internal storage, depending on the quality you used. I have 108 kilobits per second music usually on air, which brings it down to about 3 or 4 albums, but in my experience it balances decently between the amount of content and quality. Speaking of the quality, the 8-track standard which was used on these devices and also on a mini disc uh, was always criticized for its low fidelity. However, I have not noticed that at all. And from independent tests, the 105 kilobit per second variant is comparable to a 128 kilobit per second MP3, which it went up against at the time. And even for today, the average person wouldn't notice a difference between that and a lossless file. So this little player should be really adequate for anyone. And it does also deliver really clear and powerful uh, sound in a form factor almost as large as a stack of biscuits. So now we have the uh, history sorted, let's talk the controls. Uh, in Sonic Stage you can make groups, or if you have albums those will automatically be made in a group when you upload the files to the player. In my eyes it is a bad way of renaming something that's practically a playlist but does exactly what it says on the tin. So you can just select a group on the player like such and you can just uh, I think it's, you can just cycle through them and you can't see it on the display because thanks camera and then you can just press play and if you want another group you just play another one and instead of trying to find a track of an album which would sometimes be the case from in players from back then repeat modes can be cycled through with this button so you have the uh, repeat all songs repeat one song and repeat it once uh, 
and you can also shuffle. And then you can also hold it and it will cycle through different uh, sound presets mode which is basically just add bass and nothing else. The rest of the control speak for itself. This you use to uh, switch between settings and songs and this just whatever, play pause. it was at least slightly interesting if it was please make the pointing up thumb blue if it wasn't well yikes <laughs> <laughs>